Yo, Act, we don't want to we don't want your stream here for a week. Twitch, you know them. Yo, I don't know if it's, let me give you the lowdown on the Twitch thing. Twitch gave me a 30 day suspension. I've never been suspended on Twitch for more than a week. I have no idea why that was the first thing they said, but they said 30 days. And I was like, wow, what? Anyway, you know, um, I think it's an interesting time for streaming. So um, I ain't gonna lie. I did appeal. They they put it to two weeks after a while. So I was suspended for two weeks. <clears throat> it's kind of unclear why I was suspended, but it seems to... It was between two streams, me streaming something they considered violent, even though I think we talk about all type of things here, which includes violent stuff, but okay. Um, and also maybe me streaming a concert. I don't know, you know, I don't want to get nefarious and kind of like, you know, be on some conspiracy theory shit. But before then, I was constantly talking about possibly making a move. It's interesting when and when a streamer starts to consider maybe another alternative, they're the 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 the, the tolerance for their content in terms of them getting suspended or banned is very short. For example, Kai Sinat, he was suspended. From what I'm hearing, it seems it's going to be like either three days or seven days. They're claiming he was doing sexual content during RP. <sighs> you know, we're back on Twitch, but and I ain't trying to get super political with it. But it's like a lot of shit you kind of realize is kind of bullshit in a sense as a creator. Let me give you an example. Kai just got suspended or banned because he. If you don't know what RP is, that's role playing. So he was playing GTA, which is Grand Theft Auto, and you could role play as some virtual characters to be doing regular things in life. Apparently, Kai role played a sexual scene, and they feel like that was too sexually explicit, even though that's kind of also part of the game, but you can't be too explicit, whatever the case is. So they drew the line and said, Kai, whatever, right? Now, it's very interesting to me, and this is why I think Twitch is having a issue. If you're going to suspend Kai for that, Kai did a subathon. I got some numbers on that subathon. From what I was told, Kai made about $3 million. He spent about 600000 He netted from what I've heard, about $2 million in profit for streaming 30 days on Twitch. I thought it was going to be exponentially more. But from what I hear, only $2 million he made. From what I hear, though, Twitch made between 10 and $15 million. So think about that just disparity. You stream 30 days, you pay for all the costs, the expenses in creating a product. You make $2 million, they make 15 there was, a, there was an instance on that subathon where some people claimed he got jacked off under a table. I don't know if it's true. I'm not trying to be no, I'm not Randall from recess. I'm just telling you, these were things that the community were like, what is Twitch going to do? Twitch was making so much money off Kai at the moment. Remember, at the end of the month, he made $2 million. They made like 10, 15. They were making so much money off of him that that would be clearly like, again, this is, remember what he's getting suspended for now is role playing. So he's not doing anything. He's playing as a character online and maybe making some sound effects. What was allegedly seen on the subathon while, while Twitch was making their 10, 15 million off of him. They said some girl was, like, reaching into his crotch. That's what, you know, I'm not trying to be a snitch or nothing like that. I'm just telling you what was the conversation. Twitch, knowing that Kai was bringing in so much money for them, they did nothing. No suspension, no nothing. You know why? He was on a subathon. Who does the subathon really benefit? Twitch. 
not the creator. So we excused you for that because you were making us so much money that if we suspended you during that, we would be cutting off our nose to spite our face. But now you're not on a subathon anymore. Now you've been flirting with maybe signing a contract on kick. Now you've been saying that you don't like the shoes we sent you, but you like the shoes another platform sent you. You know what? Because you role played a little bit, let's put you back in your place. Let's suspend you. That is, I believe, Twitch's big problem. If you're going to have rules and apply them indiscriminately, do that. But don't try to prioritize times that you could make money or certain creators. And then when other creators that you feel are indispensable or, or, or dispensable at the time, you suspend them and throw them to the side. That's the thing that I think Kai has to think about. And if you ask me, in reality, I believe there is, this is just my personal opinion. I've, you know, I, I reached out to Kai. We haven't really talked about business shit yet, but, and nor does he need to talk to me about it. I'm just telling you what I know the market is saying. I just did a deal. I think it's 0% chance he stays with Twitch. I don't care how much you love Twitch. I don't care how much you love Twitch. Twitch is saying they're not giving you exclusive shit. They're sending you shoes instead of paying you the millions they should pay you. You made them $15 million. They give you, they give you a nice pair of custom shoes. Not saying they owe you whatever, whatever. But at this point, they should realize how invaluable you are. This is any company. And possibly try to work with you in a way that you could feel compensated or you could feel appreciated. Instead, they look at maybe the narrative of you floating in the air that you might switch platforms. And then they punish you. For shit that they wouldn't have punished you for when you were making them a boatload of money. I think that's an issue. Um, I can't tell someone like Kai what to do. But I can tell you what the numbers I've been hearing. The active offer, I'm not sure if it's still active anymore, was that Kai could get a $50 million contract from, from Kick. And I'm going to be honest with you. And when I mean $50 million, $50 million for a year. Go look at the NBA salaries for the year. Tell me who makes $50 million for a year. I'm sorry to tell you. And this is my message to Kai or whoever who's in this position where you're being offered from these other places. Your clout not going to dry up in a year, my nigga. Go take that fucking deal. Twitch ain't giving you nothing but a pair of sneakers and another motherfucker going to give you $15 million. You better hit the road. Twitch going to be here. And I hope they don't take this because I am on Twitch at the moment. Hope they don't take this thing and be like, oh, shit, academics is sending the smoke signals to get people to leave. That's not my that's not my thing. I always speak and by the way, I would I, I don't care about being on Twitch if I can't speak without being constrained. Just like I wouldn't care about being on Rumble and salute to Rumble, I gotta deal with them. I, I I wouldn't care about being on any platform if I can't speak how I need to speak. But I do look at I do look at uh, um Kai right now and I'm like, yo, listen. If you made, let's just do the math. If you made two million dollars doing the most entertaining subathon ever in history in a month, two million, which if you streamed all year, if we were to extrapolate, and by the way, there's a lot of factors, you know, streaming, doing a subathon in February is much worse than doing a subathon in like November or December. If you did the same subathon in December, he'd make at least five or six million dollars. Why? Advertising rates are different. Because it's Christmas, it's, it's, you know, Black Friday. Nobody's buying in January or February. By the way, if you guys do YouTube, you should know CPMs are low January, February, March. It, that's what it is, right? So his timing wasn't the best. But still, just think about the timing. He made $2 million for streaming every day of his life, every hour, every minute. 
if we extrapolate it, which again, I'm admitting that it wouldn't be that for every month, but let's say it was 4 million. 4 million for 12 months, 48 million. They're offering you $50 million. Brother, all you need to do is launch up a stream with two fingers telling niggas, peace out. I'll see y'all niggas in a year or more. That's it. <laughs> Yo, I'm te- I- I'm just trying to tell y'all the reality of it. These streamers, the offers that I'm hearing being thrown around, I did my little thing. I got my little bag. I'm, I'm good. I mean, I'm at Rumble. I'm chilling. But I ain't, uh, I ain't Speed, Kai, Aiden, and a few others who would definitely get more money. I got my shit. I'm good. And by the way, I'm still on Twitch. The fuck? Two other people 